Hey there everyone and welcome to the independent vlog series. I've been away for quite a while, yet again. Um, a lot of stuff has happened, but I'm just going to do my best to explain everything right now, so um, let's get into it. Pretty much I've decided to stop developing Arcane in the Unreal Engine, and um, that was for a lot of reasons. I'll probably make a separate video about that, um, eventually. <laughs> So I've switched out of Unreal Engine and now I'm going into my own custom engine. So yeah, these past 4-5 or five months I've been learning how to build my own engine from the ground up using OpenGL and C++. It's, uh, it's been good fun, it's been a good adventure, I've got a nice base down right now. But don't worry, the Arcane Devlogs, they'll resume uh, once I start doing some more gameplay oriented work. Um, I'm still going to keep that Arcane Devlog format as a feature showcase if anything not sort of implementation will stick to the implementation in this series and how I do everything all of the inner workings behind each feature and whatnot now the reason I'm calling this the independent vlogs is because that's what they are they're independent of whatever project I'll be working on at the time it's just gonna show my life my my development schedule whatever I'm working on and Right now, that's just the Arcane engine, so you're going to be seeing a lot of that, and of course, some more vlog-esque themes. So me programming for the Arcane engine, and then just like, just other random life stuff, like going out to record B-roll, or other fun things like that. But um, yeah, that's that. Um, now this introduction video is just going to be all over the place. Um, in no way is this going to be a representation of what the structure is going to be like. It's going to be a lot more neat and compact. I'm thinking about doing weekly or fortnightly releases of this, just because I tried doing this for like two months thinking that oh I, I don't have enough footage I'm just gonna like just keep going and um, so I did that for two months and I sat down to edit it all yesterday and put it into the episode one and I realized I just had way way too much footage anyway so episode two that should be coming out like I'd like to say a week's time from now. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see from this series and we'll just expand upon it as we go, I guess. Anyway, so let's just get stuck into things. Okay, so we're in the engine now. Um, I guess we'll just start off in the in the main area. I guess this is the initialization. Uh, this is where all the resources are going to get loaded into the game. Everything's going to get set up. And then down here, this is of course just the core game loop. Anyway, so I've got a lot of test stuff going on at the moment. Um, I've recently just finished implementing the new renderer, so that's uh, nice and cool and dandy. All the basic stuff is pretty much implemented, so this is all finished off. Um, but yeah, so this is just the renderer over here. It handles all this stuff, and if we actually run it, I'll show you what I've been doing. So right here we have three quads. We have this main quad here, which is the parent quad, and it has two children attached to it. So uh, right here, this translate, scale, and rotate. This is the transform of this parent quad here. And whatever we do, this parent quad is gonna propagate down to its children as well. So if we rotate this, then it's gonna rotate its children. Now, this quad here has a pivot point of center center, so it's right in the middle. This one's bottom center, and I think this one is top center, so that's where its respective um, transforms are gonna be around, so that point there. But yeah, that's all, uh, that's all nifty. So next episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually start implementing stuff like a camera system and world objects and just getting all uh, all that meaty stuff set up. But um, yeah, it, it should be good fun. I've, I've had a lot of fun uh, setting this up right now as it is. It's been, uh, it's been a bit of a learning challenge. Speaking of learning, I'll show you guys how I actually learnt uh, to do all this and what resources I've been using to um, build this engine. So throughout the process so far, I've pretty much been using a combination of three things. We've got the oneopengl.com. It's a great um, just text-based online resource that you can work your way through and it teaches all the basics and some advanced stuff. And so yeah, it's um it's got some good OpenGL stuff in here and it's also got, it has a 2D game tutorial down here as well so that does some basic uh, 2d game stuff so that's been pretty handy but my main sort of learning resource has actually been through this guy over here 
I'm sure you've heard of him before, he's great, he does really good C++ and OpenGL tutorials. He's actually just started doing a game engine tutorial, so um, yeah, I'll be following on with that and uh, trying to see if I can implement any of those concepts into my own engine. So yeah, if you want to learn OpenGL or C++, uh, this is a place to go. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description, so go check that out. I've actually based most of my renderer stuff and a few OpenGL abstractions off of the Sparky engine which he made a while back, um, so I was just following along with that. Now moving on to last but not least, it's just docs. Nothing exciting, but um, <laughs> it's really handy, especially when you just forget like basic syntax or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to make your own project or start your own engine, then I'll leave the links for all these down in the description and um, yeah, just have fun with it. Anyway, so that's what I've been using to pretty much learn everything, and yeah, I'll give you a bit of a tour of some of the more um, specific stuff that I've implemented within the engine. So we've got logging down here. I've just got a global logger that you just print through whenever you want. Uh, you can provide like a message type and it's going to print uh, different colors. This is only Windows. Now, something I have to do is subtract this out and implement um, it for each and every single OS that I'm going to build to. That's probably going to be a task coming up soon that I'll need to do. Um, but yeah, that's the logging. I'll show you an example of it in a bit. And I just have a pretty basic event system going on here as well. So the way this works is you have an event in some class, so in this, in, in this case it's window. This is where all the GLFW stuff is. It's what actually creates the actual window um, that you can do stuff with and the handles input and whatnot. So I have a key press event over here. So you can call that whenever. Um, it gets called over in the key callback right here. So it gets dispatched over here um, to a specific key every time you press a key. And I just am binding it to a delegate over here which is a test just in the shader and just calls this function and that is bound to the s key so if we actually if we actually open this then i'll show it in action so we just press s and as you can see it comes up in the console over here and this is all the logging stuff as well so this is a note message uh debug message warning and then error and most of the error stuff is just associated with assertion so if we try and do an assert for example, just up here. Um, error. So this is just going to get passed as a error and it's going to break on here because it's an assert. And there we go. It's just broken and the console has printed that. So yeah, there's a lot I have to do to expand upon this logging system, but um, that's it for now. It does actually save its um, all of its messages to, the, to a file. I'm gonna have to abstract that out and I've got it to do up here to do, to implement crash reports and whatnot. But right now we don't need it. We're not publishing anything. I'm not sending out releases to you guys yet, but um, I've got a few other things in here like the resource manager. I actually got this from the um, OpenGL thing up here, I believe it's it's in here somewhere. So I based a lot of my resource manager stuff off there. So that's what I based the resource manager off that and it can load textures and shaders and use them at will. So that way you don't have to keep creating textures every time you want to use it. It's a lot more efficient and a lot cleaner. Yeah, that's about it. So yeah, we're just going to keep building onto it, keep developing and um, try and get a nice game engine going. Anyway, so that's all for this little intro. Bit of a boring introduction video, but hopefully next week's video should be uh, pretty fun. Anyway, so stay tuned for next week's video. I'm not sure what day I'm gonna release it. Maybe like, oh, I don't even know. Maybe Mondays or something. But in the meantime, if you wanna come have a chat, uh, link for Discord is down below. So come join that and give me a yell. And um, yeah, that's it.